Amen. 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 In church, because it gives us some time away from our own heart. Say it now. Say it now. Got a situation that you're dealing with that you're running away from that you won't really allow the Lord to have his way with. Come on, Amen. Somebody in here. Amen. Old saints used to call it the shack duck. Running away from your home. He called them back to their home. Back to the place where they're supposed to have peace. Back to the place where they are supposed to feel safe. Back to the place of comfort. You got to be called back to the place. That's why we sing the song, Take Me Back. Yeah, Lord, to the place where I first been received you. Take me back there, Lord, to the place where I first believed. Why? Because some of us get saved, get in church, and get carried away with the little bits that we forget the main thing. The main thing is not that you know it all. The main thing is not that you can quote the most scripture. If you can pull right. all the scripture in the world, but if you ain't living it, it's all the to you. Yeah. Yeah. You got to understand. That's why he said, "Come back." But but then 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 I, 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 because then the question might become, "Well, preacher, you're making it seem like it should be so easy to go through the things that we go through in life. You make it seem like you." I, 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 it's so easy that I shouldn't be carried away. And and, and, and look, life life is something else. Come on, somebody in here. I, I, I'm not half as old as some of you in here. I know that life is something else. Come on, somebody in here. Hats off to you, some of you who have made it. Come on, somebody. Pass your three score and ten. Is it somebody? Uh, but 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 there is something that God gives us. In order for us to make it past life, Jesus said it like this, I will give you peace that surpasses all understanding. When you don't know, God has not given us, Paul told Timothy, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of sound mind. He has given us power through God Almighty himself and through the Holy Spirit. He has given us love through the person of Jesus Christ that came and gave because he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that we shall ever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Come on, somebody. And he gives us a sound mind by giving us peace that surpasses all of us. You don't know how, how it's going to work out. You don't know how you're going to make it through. He, he gives you that peace. Well, how do you know? He told the disciples right here. He said, don't only come home where, where, where you might still have issues that you're dealing with. That you might not still feel comfort in your home, but I'm going to give you a peace that's the past of all understanding. He told them, come home and go to the mountain. Come home and go to the mountain. Come home and go uh, to the high place. If, 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 when you get home, read uh, Psalms, the 18th chapter and the 34th verse. There David talks about the fact, of, about all the things that the Lord has brought him through in that 18th chapter of Psalms. And in the 34th verse, he makes reference to the high place. The high place being a mountain. The high place also being a place of worship. Yes. When you get up in the morning and your thought is worship unto God. Now, see, people get worship and praise mixed up. But we think that worship is telling God thank you. No, worship is simply loving Him just come because on. He is God. That means I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to make it. But you are God and you are not alone. I'm going to put it in your hands. I'm not asking you to do nothing. I don't have no expectations. I know that you are God and that you will. And when we live in that place of worship, it, 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 how many of 
of us have ever been on an airplane. When we live in that place of worship, see, he called them to the mountain, to the high place. David yeah. talks about, even yeah. though I go through all these things, thank you, Lord, that you have set me. That's what it says in, in, in that 34th verse of the 18th chapter yes, song, that you have set me yes. on the high place. Yeah. What he's talking about is if any of us have ever been on an airplane, mm -hmm. and when you take off at the airport, it can be raining, yeah. it can be storming, Amen. Thunder and lightning, and they tell you, "Well, we are gonna raise attempt this take off. Put your seatbelts on, and we will let you know when it's all right to take your seatbelts off when we get to our cruising altitude." And, and when, when you know when you take off, that plane is shaking and rocking. Yeah. You feel every bump and every cloud you go through, it feel like the plane getting ready to fall out the sky. I know I got a witness hand somewhere. Yeah. 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 But, 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 but once you reach that cruising altitude, things calm down. Amen. <laughs> things move out. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's a peace that I can't understand. <laughs> I can't explain it because we were just bumping and rocking a little bit. I just